Yeah. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm a physical therapist. I'm the clinical director of Ready Cure's Great Neck Location. Um, I work a lot with lymphatic patients, um, and one of the great new technologies we've got is the Normatec for the upper extremity. Uh, we've had the Normatec for the lower extremity for quite some time now. Um, this is one of the lower extremity units. Um, we have this for both legs. Uh, so we've been using this for a long time, not only with our lymphatic patients, but also with our athletes who have difficulty recovering uh, from workouts or um, our patients who are post-op knee replacement, hip replacement, that have a lot of inflammation, especially uh, later in the day uh, when they're on their feet for a long period of time. So we got this um, because we started seeing more patients post uh, breast cancer or esophageal cancer, um, throat cancer, uh, who had radiation treatment and ended up developing inflammation in their upper extremities. Uh, so over here I have Charlotte. I already set her up in the Normatec uh, for both arms. Um, and in this unit, uh, we use the same unit for upper and lower extremities. So if I want to use the lower extremity, I could just switch it over. Uh, but today we're going to be doing the arms. Um, oh, I usually is. start off with a level yeah, one intensity um, and build them up to level yeah. four or level five uh, as they progress through their plan of care. Uh, but you could also build them up to level 10. I don't usually do that um, so often. Um, with my athletes, I may build them up to like a level six or eight. Um, zone boost, you could pick the area where you want to focus. So if they have a lot of inflammation in their hand or their wrist, I may zone boost that area. Or if they have a little, a lot of inflammation in the elbow, the forearm, it depends what you want to do. Um, and the time, you could set up from 10 minutes up. Uh, so I, I'm going to do 10 minutes today with Charlotte. And then you press start. So I can feel it starting from my fingertips and gradually constricting. Yeah. It's not uncomfortable, it's not painful, it's just like having your blood pressure taken. The cuff is just very slowly inflating and encroaching on running your skin and your muscles to be able to revive that compression that's needed. So as you can see, it works more distally at the hands um, and then works its way proximal. The, the goal with this Normatec is to get the blood flowing from the hand up to the heart on both sides. Um, when you do a lymphatic massage, you do that motion with your hands where you do the effleurage massage working up to the heart. Uh, so this does that work for you or assists you with that work um, and helps progress the patient faster. Um, the great thing about this is as it does work up proximally uh, towards the, the heart and uh, towards the shoulder, it doesn't release the distal pressure, uh, so the blood cannot flow backwards. Uh, so it keeps the blood flowing towards the heart and in the right direction. So I feel it now, closer to my chest. So my fingers all the way up, and now it's bringing close to my chest. Again, there's no pain, it's very comfortable, and it's just slowly inflating, giving that compression in order to put to produce that constriction. Good. And you'll let this go its course for the 10 minute treatment session. Uh, again, I eventually build that up as my, I progress my patients through the plan of care. When you are done, deposit, quit session, and simply just release the patient. You can see the air coming out. I think that's nice as well, Steph. If okay. anyone was to get anxious or they felt slightly claustrophobic, it's very easy to deflate. I can move already, and Steph can just unclip me in a matter of seconds. So that's a really nice way to just feel like you can still come out of it and stop the treatment if needed. It slides off, the patient can assist. I haven't had to change my clothes. I haven't had to um, change my position. I can just lie flat and let the treatment help me. So 
tune in more we're going to continue to post updates and give you updates on how we're doing with our equipment but this is one fantastic piece of equipment that i encourage everyone to come and try thank you everyone and thank you staff thank you